everyone. I'm Tiffany Benson, one half of Team Benson, and I am putting in some arches today. <laughs> I've been looking at everybody else's arches and thinking how beautiful they are, how cool their vegetables look, and I've always wanted them. But I have a small space garden, but I'm still going to have arches. Look at these guys. I just watered and I am preparing my soil so every day I'm watering the soil and these little guys are getting breakfast like no other but I wanted to show you guys this is the soil that I'm preparing in my big bed check out my video that I posted on YouTube and you can see how I did it but look at the boost that it's given my okra plants these had stopped flowering and making okra about maybe two weeks ago and now look at them there's just okra everywhere project you're gonna need just a few things um, these wire panels they're each um, I bought six of them for each arch so there's gonna be three on one side three on the other side you'll need a sledgehammer you'll need some t-post and then you'll also need some zip ties what I'm doing is I am putting three side by side so one two three of the panels and I'm just sticking them into the ground I'm putting the t-post here hammered it in for support that then I'm now zip tying which I use colors so they're easier to see these together and then I'm going to zip tie them to the t-post for support so you have to use six because it's not long enough to make an arch itself. As you can see, I'm bending both sides together, zip tying them at the top, and those two are not done yet. So I'm zip tying them together, and it'll make a arch. So I'm going to do that step. It is done. I'm sitting down below because it's getting really hot outside and I wanted you guys to see the entire thing. Look how pretty that is! It was exhausting to do alone, but it is pretty. <laughs> um, just so you guys can see, it is very sturdy too as well. So I'm shaking it and it's not falling down or anything like that or falling at the top. I zip tied the absolute life out of it and there are zip ties just kind of everywhere to keep it nice and sturdy but that's gonna hold some vegetables for me so let's just take a quick moment to recognize how beautiful this okra blossom is I've got another one over there and look guys tons more okra alright guys so I now have put in arch number two and I am exhausted and hot um, Arch number two was a lot easier than arch number one because of the simple fact that I feel like arch number one I was trying to still figure out how to do it, but the second one just kind of went right in. But it's gorgeous. You guys want to take a look? Well, thanks for checking me out today, guys, and watching how I built these two arches. I can already tell now this is going to be my favorite spot in my garden just because I know what these green beans are going to look like and the squash are going to look like as they trail over and I think it's going to be gorgeous. So uh, don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up because this was a lot of work. So I feel like I deserve a thumbs up. And comment below what you guys think of my arches and don't feel like since you have a small space you can't have the things that you want. You just you know, gotta fit it in there. So thanks guys for watching. Bye.